Hey guys, welcome to the Experimental Aircraft Channel. I'm Brian. I'm Katie. And welcome to our weekly episodes where we talk about different tools that are available to you, different products that are available to you in the industry. Uh, today we have uh, two products. One is a 3X rivet gun and the other is a drill guide to drill out rivets. This episode and these tools is sponsored by Wix Aircraft Supply. Okay, so we have the red box uh, 737 from Wix Aircraft Supply today, which has, again, the 3X gun. Nice case, nicely organized. So what do you think this is? A rivet gun, because you already said rivet gun. <laughs> okay, yeah. How do you assemble it? All right, so we've got, the, this is the rivet gun itself, which is a 3X. Okay, it's heavy. It's a, little, it's a little bit, has some weight to it, which is, you want that to be able to rivet. Okay. The rivets well. How do you, what are these and how do you put it together? All right, so you've got several different attachments here. This one here is used for doing flush riveting. Okay. Where you have more of like a, it's a flat rivet for flush with the skin. All right, and then you have these other here fittings for different AN uh, dome shaped rivets that has like a dome to it. Um, there's four different sizes for that. And then you've got these. It's like a hammer. It's, it's kind of like a hammer. <laughs> All right. So on the other side of hammering, which is the gun is going to be the hammering action, okay. you have what they call um, a bucking bar. All right, so this is when you you're, when you they say you're bucking rivets, this is what what they mean. So you take you'll take the gun on the, this one end, have a fitting in here, bucking bar, and this will counter the hammer action of the gun. All right, so we'll talk about that in a minute. It's got the, the five different fittings, two different bucking bars, and this also has uh, oil. So. We've already oiled, usually used two or three drops of uh, oil at the beginning of each day before you use it. Make sure things lubricate inside and also helps get moisture out of the, the system there. So one of the first things that you do is select the right tool, right? Very important is to match the head of the rivet with the proper tool. And I did one earlier to show you as an example, and I'll, I'll zoom in in a minute. Okay. Uh, but basically you've got these are already riveted, squashed, and on the back side you want to have a nice uniform kind of uh, mushroom, not pancaked rivet. Uh, if you choose the wrong size, like I did on purpose, what it will leave you is uh, what they call a smiley face. Now the smiley face usually refer to that on the skin, we're doing the, the flush rivets, but you can also have them on the rivet head itself. And again, I'll zoom in, but you can see that didn't quite cover the whole head of it and it left an indent on the rivet. Oh. So you want to make sure when you use the selected tool that it covers the entire head of the rivet. So select the right one and make sure that it covers the right, covers the whole rivet head. So this is the size that we're going to use and what you need to do is take this, it comes already assembled somewhat, this little part sticks up, you just Rotate that around, it comes off. Go ahead and slide this in. You want to do it? Locked and loaded. Kind of. All right, then the spring goes over. The spring itself sort of acts like the threads of like a nut. Right, and then it goes on there. You just keep on spinning that. And you want to hold the actual um, spring part itself, not this, because that will actually put tension on it. Okay. So you just hold this part and can continue to spin it all the way in. And that should bottom up about there. So that's on it. This will still have a little bit of a, so that this will still be a little bit loose because there has some play. Play, yeah. Um, the spring is what, the gun itself is what actually is the hammer, not the spring. It just, the spring is really there to keep it from flying across the room. <laughs> There's right. an eye that way. Yeah. So, uh, so that's the gun. We've got that assembled. And this has already a, a, 
an air valve or regulator on it so you can fine adjust aside from your air compressor. So that's already set. Um, these, we're talking about, you asked about before, is the other side of this. So you'll have this, mm -hmm. then you'll have your piece. So you put it over your rivet. Put it over the rivet, and this will be on the back side. You can hold it, how, you can hold it like a pen, you can hold it however you're comfortable with. But the most important thing in, in this is that you keep this perpendicular flat to your, your project. If you have an back or sideways or whatnot, it's going to slip off the rivet and cause it to pancake and this, this form and all kinds of stuff. So you hold that up. It'll no longer be pretty. <laughs> It'll no longer be pretty. So you hold that up perpendicular okay. and then this to the back side and then you'll be holding them together. Okay. Here, I'll, you hold it. Okay. <laughs> and we'll do this again and yeah. And you kind of just squeeze them together, both arms, and you'll just do like a quick, like a And that's, and you'll be watching this to see that you don't squish it down too far. And also, not enough, and again, I'll, I'll zoom in and show you on, on that. Just to show you real quick, while we're at the stage here of how to undo this, that's why this thing is sticking up. You go ahead and push, push your thumb on it, and then that will help ease the tension of the springs, and this will slide off, rotate off. All right, so while we have this out, this fitting is a little bit different. Do you want to hold that? Mm -hmm. Where it kind of interlocks with the spring. So this kind of goes in through here and then locks in place. And again, the spring is really there to keep it from flying across the room, but that's the, the big difference there. And I'll zoom in to show you how that goes in. And then the same thing where it, it screws in. That, and that's, again, for flush rivets. Tool oil. Lubricate your hand. <laughs> Tool oil. It smells good. <laughs> you collect. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm gonna show you a quick example of how to, to use this 3x gun uh, in a real real life application riveting. Safety glasses. Always be safe. All right, safety glasses. I'm gonna choose to use this bucking bar. I've already got a rivet in here. You want to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Put that right in the head so that you can see it's covering the rivet. And then on the back side, I've got the bucking bar. I'm going to hold. So at the back side, I've got the bucking bar. I'm going to hold this perpendicular to the work. And I'm going to take just a couple short blasts with the gun. Okay. Just like that. Okay, and you, you want to do that just enough to be able to kind of mushroom that down. I'll do another one here, place the rivet in. All right, so we're gonna put another rivet in here. And again, making sure that this covers the whole rivet perpendicular, nice and tight. And the back side, I'll hold this straight and this couple quick taps to get it going. And you can come around to the back side and see how it nicely forms. It, it just kind of flattens out a little bit. Not pancakes, but it, it gets fatter compared to, let me show you while you're there, how it starts off. So it starts out looking like that. As you can see, it's a little bit skinnier and see how much fatter it gets. Okay, so we have just a quick example there of how this 3X gun works and uh, how, to, how to rivet there. Um, once you're done, this thing fits right back in the box. You don't have any need to disassemble it and uh, just fits right back in there nicely. This particular gun goes for $175 here now in May 2019, prices may change over the years as uh, these videos stay on YouTube for quite some time. But as of May 2019, it's $175 through Wix. So what's next? Lloyd's Rivet Drill Guide, Woman Owned Business. All right. <laughs> Bonus. Set includes five rivet drill guides, corresponding drill bits, 
for AN 470 saw rivets, 330 seconds, eighth inch, 530 seconds, 316 and quarter inch. So, nice little uh, compact container here. And we've got several different sizes that we just mentioned. And it also includes uh, an oil for, for drilling. So this is something honestly is brand new to me. I, I didn't even know it was, it was available. It's a new product in my mind. Um, but I, I can see the purpose of it for sure, the need. Um, basically the idea of this is that it fits over the rivet head. All right. But you can take that out of there. That's just, yeah. That's the one. There's a drill bit that matches the guide and it's already in there. This is where it's already installed, and this slides over the rivet perfectly. So you, you hold pressure on that, and if you need to get into something to do maintenance on it, or there's a, a boo-boo, <laughs> basically this can go over it, and it keeps your drill bit from sliding off the, uh, the head of the rivet and scratching up your, your skins or <laughs> it, it keeps the drill bit from walking off of uh, the head of the rivet and scratching your your skins or whatnot. So what we've got here is, so we'll, we'll show you how this works real quick. They supply some drill, um, drill bit oil, drilling oil, so you just dip your drill bit in there. You've got your, your guide and you go ahead and just place that over the rivet that you want to drill out. Hold that nice and flush, and this just goes in here. And you're gonna drill just a little bit. And clean out the, clean out the burrs. And check to see how deep you've gone with it. And you'll just take a punch and a hammer Give it a couple of taps, or one tap, and uh, it pops out right away. It drills out pretty much dead center. Well, we don't care about that. Okay. It pretty much drills dead center of the rivet, um, because you know anything that's round or domed, uh, a drill bit likes to try to walk one side or the other. So that's why this is very helpful to keep it there. All right, so that's how this uh, Lloyd's Rivet Drill Guide works. Uh, nice little compact kit with, uh, with five different sizes. And again, it comes with the, uh, the oil. Very handy tool. Very handy tool. Alright guys, well that's our show for today, and to purchase this, go to wixaircraft.com and search for the 3X Rivet Gun or the Drill Guide, the Rivet Drill Guide. Be sure to subscribe and to like our page and leave comments. We'd love to hear from you guys. Yeah, we also can be found on Facebook at Experimental Aircraft Channel, on Instagram at Experimental Aircraft Channel, and if you'd like to be featured at some point in time on our show, We'll still go out once a month to interview builders and also manufacturers, and that'll be on Sundays. You can email me at info at experimentalaircraftchannel.com. And remember... Just build it. Just build it. Just build it. Just build it.